I fucking opened a beer. Oh shit! Yeah, I've been drinking all day. I had a barbecue, all day barbecue going on right now. Man, all I ate today was fucking chicken soup. I wish I had food. I fucking broke as fuck. <laughs> I spent all my money. Oh uh, shit, homie! I wish I wish you lived nearby. Oh word! You got all the meat. Hilltop Should I? The shit. Oh, homie, the shit I made today. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Even you would have put on weight today. <laughs> yeah, I made some ribs, made a whole chicken, had some sausages. Nigga, you hear me? You hear me? Is it already coming? Yeah, man. Yeah, hell yeah. You can hear me? Nah, man, it sounds good. Uh, I spent all my fucking yep. money. I spent all my money on uh, you know, fucking e bike I was playing. But it was worth it. Oh, work. shit, you bought it, eh? Yeah, it was only $430, you know what I'm saying? So I took the chance. Like, it was the only that's pretty, shit. That's a good price. Bro, it's the only shit I ever seen on Amazon with a disclaimer. I've never seen that before at the bottom where it said this item is frequently returned, you know, like. Make sure you read everything. But I was like, what the fuck? And it's got terrible reviews for the most part. Everybody's like, oh, the brakes are broken. The wheels suck. Oh, it's a piece of shit. But then, like, other people be like, this fucking bike is awesome. I, you know? So I was like, you know what? I had a good yeah. feeling about it. It's a, it's a Hurley. They love that shit. Hurley's a good brand. So I, I'm thinking maybe the people that were buying it had really fucking high... Um, Standard. Yeah, like expectations. Bikes. I've always had like Toys R Us bikes and shit. This fucking thing is fucking amazing, bro. It's like, it's like practically weightless. You got it already. Yeah, I already, I put it together in like fucking twenty minutes. If anything, the instructions overcomplicate. Cause yo, it, instead of screwing the fucking wheels on, it's got like that bolt that just goes through and clamps like like expensive bikes have. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not used to that shit. So I was like, oh shit. You I know. just spent the rest of my my last sixty bucks on a, a back rack. I just ordered and like a bag because I'm I use it to go grocery shopping. I don't have a car, so that's you know what I'm saying. But that'll that'll fucking make shit convenient. Cause I buy beer and shit, Fuck bro. Yeah. I go grocery that's shopping, dope. and I, I fit it, I try, try to put everything I can in my backpack, so it's just like and I can't. And then and then I'll buy a case of beer like a retard. So I got like a case of beer under my arm and a big backpack, and I'm trying <laughs> to fucking ride on this fucking little dumb scooter thing. Yeah, so th that should make life easier. You know, fuck it. You can't beat that price, bro. Fuck yeah. That sounds all right, man. I wish. I, I was, like, pretty stoked on when you told me you just drive your motherfucking golf cart around and get your food. I was like, damn, you I can't do, do that here. I still they do, would arrest your ass here. I still do, but I can only go so far with the cart. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, I, I definitely load that bitch up. Yeah, we got to get cuts in here one of these days on this fucking conversation. He's I want to hear down. something. He, he wants to. But he, yeah, he I want to. He can't, he can't do it on a Saturday, though. That's all. Mm. Well, you should ask him what day is good, and then I'll try to make time. I you know what I'm saying? I have to call him now, but I think that he's asleep. He called me, like, I don't know, a couple hours ago, but I missed the call. I was mowing the lawn. Word. Yeah, man, I was sitting out in the yard all day today, drinking beer, smoking meats. <laughs> I was doing my Saturday. <laughs> Oh, hey, yo. <laughs> I was doing my Sunday shit, man. It was good. No homo. Smoke of meats. No homo. Bro, next time I go food shopping, I'm getting hella steaks. That I shit. Mean, my parents had bad teeth, genetically, I guess, but ever since I, like, I smoked those fucking e-cigarettes when they came out, and I quit regular cigarettes for like a year. Shit yeah, started yeah, hurting. yeah. My gum lines were receding. It got to the point they were just bleeding, and I, it was from these stupid fucking e-cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? Like every time I hit yeah, it, yeah, for sure. Ow. Yo, weird shit, homie. When I was in the hospital, when I had that COVID shit real bad, my gums receded all the way back, and you could see where my teeth met my skull. Oh my god! Like everything peeled back. It was fucking crazy, man. My teeth were coming out. My whole I look like a living, the living dead, man. Bro, it was bro. fucking crazy. Like, because like, like I'm a, now. you look like, like a homie. I'm, yeah, I'm a fat motherfucker. Like, and 
I lost about a hundred pounds, and it looked like somebody just hung my skin on a fucking coat hanger. That's how my body looked. Like everything was just like it was me, but like if you fucking melted me in a crayon oven, you know what I mean? Bro, you got shit was fucked there. If I walked into a dentist and was like, "Put hook me up with the gold shits," they'd be like, "Fuck you." Why you want gold teeth? You look like crazy person. You you think you're brack? You're not brack. Yo. Yo, why you think you're brack? Bro. You just look like a white guy with brack teeth. You fucking stupid. Why are you so stupid? Bro, I thought I looked good for my age, man. You fucking you got me beat. Me. I'm a fat motherfucker. If you seen me in real life, you'd be like, damn, man, you need to lose some weight. <laughs> I envy skinny motherfuckers. That's where I'd like to be when I'm in my 50s. I'd like to be a skinny motherfucker. Not, not this skinny. Mm -hmm. we need well, for real. You want to, yeah, let's, let's do a halfway. Like, I'd like to be somewhere between me and you, somewhere in the fucking middle like this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What's up with you? That's what I'm saying. I grow my own tobacco. I wish oh, you lived here. I just give you a fucking bunch of that shit, and then at least it's natural. I'm, you know I buy I'm the five pound bags. I'd like to think that they're not as full of chemicals as the pre rolled packs. You know what I'm saying? But who the fuck knows? Yeah. Yeah, who the fuck knows? I just know when I smoke the shit that I actually grow, I don't even feel fucked up. But I smoke like a cigarette that I get, like a store bought cigarette, and I'm fucked. That shit fucked me up. Yeah, you know what? No. I kind of feel like that with my shit. Like, I, I chain smoke these bitches and they're fine. Like, I get a pack of Newports, that shit'll probably make me feel sick. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, it would. Fuck you up. It'll fuck you. That, that shit'll fuck you up. Oh, man. Are you feeling fucked up? That shit'll fuck you up. <laughs> that is a fact. You made it to the. Number 36 on the list. <laughs> oh, shit, we in, oh, shit, we in the top 50. Dude, I'm such, a dick. I'm such a dick in chat. I'm like, all oh, these rappers suck. This guy sucks. This guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that shit cracks me up. You're like, you're like, yo, feeling sick. Fucking smoke these fools. And I'm just sudden they're quiet, like laughing. Like, we yeah. do, though. When I say that shit, <laughs> some of these songs are so fucking lame. I just want to look at chat and be like, like, seriously? Like, what the fuck do you people hear? Like, uh, man, whatever, man. I mean, but that's good. Yeah. That people are open to different shit or else. But whatever. It's not like it's working for us, bro. Nobody's fucking with our shit. We I kind of like it that way, you know, to be honest. We ain't fucking with bad seed and shit, though, man. That guy's shit is fucking fuego. Yeah, he's all right. And I'm mad, yeah. like, when Terror is above us or, like, yeah, Terra or Napoleon or whatever. I'm like, yeah, those guys put it work. See, none of this. How am I supposed to edit this in a cast, a podcast? All we do is talk shit. I'm about to like drop all these names and shit. It's just like yeah, they, they, yeah, they yeah, yeah, quick yeah. Highlights of shit we're saying, and it'll be funny. And then as we go and learn, we'll have more extended shit. I think I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this because I still ain't edited shit yet. Because I start watching nah. this and I'm just like, I don't even know where to fucking start. Like. What do I check nah. out? What's, what's well, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that when you edit this shit out, you don't make me look like a total fucking goofball. Well, that's the thing, too. That's all like, I'm hoping. I want to put you in the interesting <laughs> shit. Yeah. If someone else was editing yeah. this, I, I'd, be, I'd be nervous, you know. If someone was yeah, me too. Me. That's the only reason why I, f like, you know, make sure that it's just me and you because I know motherfuckers, they will take some shit that I say, twist it, and make me sound all fucked up. Take all the context out, and then gonna, that's it. You don't know? even need to take us out of context. We say enough fucked up shit that you don't that isn't out of context anyway. It's like fuck. Yeah, I think that shit's funny as fuck though in the chat, homie. Like I love that shit yeah, when yeah, you're yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, maybe you should put Phil and Six in here. You know what I mean? I know all the other motherfuckers that are in the chat are like, ah, like they're laughing about it. You know, I'm laughing I don't about know it. They're laughing I think that shit's funny as fuck, I, man. I just appreciate cuts for letting us do that shit. You know. Like, I'm sure he doesn't mm -hmm. love that, but he doesn't, you know. He's just, no, he's just as long as you that. don't cross, as long as you don't cross a line, you know what I mean? Like, where you're actually, you know, fucking with his shit, well, then I it's fine. Like, I think, phone calls, I I think that shit's funny. Deal, man. I'm, like, I'm like, you know.
It's cool, but I mean, fuck, I don't fucking see why people are so hyped on this shit. I ain't impressed. This and whatever. I say the same shit to and all these motherfuckers because they they talk yeah. up like it's supposed to impress me or like oh, oh. and then when they're, they're like oh do this like he'll ask me to do a track that's supposed to be with fucking I recorded it and where is it it never so and then it's like I guess they don't want to fuck with me and then it's no it's just, it's like what people take ten this shit ain't never getting done so like don't fuck yeah me. that's what, well, I'm, that's what I'm saying but like oh, like dude I've been doing this too long I know how this shit works you fucking asshole. Stop jerking me around. That's what I'm saying, though, homie. Like, you know, when you're like, ah, let's do some shit with, like, all that shit. And I'm just like, I'm good, man. I'm just going to do the shit that we're doing. And it's honestly because I've been fucking with motherfucker for so long. I'm just tired. You know what I mean? I'm tired. Of, I was a little I'm tired of fucking with everybody. I, was I, did it, I did it all already. I made covers for everybody. I fuck with everybody. I tried to be cool with everybody. Did that. And it all just worked out to me just being fucking miserable. Bro. If that makes sense. I, I you know? appreciate the shit out of the art you did for me, though. I hope you know that, man. Like, I need Yeah, to but you're my there. homie, man. We're I like, don't know if we're know, like right? brothers. I don't even know how to fucking thank you. You know what I'm saying? I should send you fucking money, but like the Omnivores cover and the cover. No. Of, like that cover you did I don't, is my logo on like all my I shit. never even asked. I never even asked for money from other people either. I was just like, let's just be like hip hop and like do this. And then I realized that the culture of hip hop is totally fucking. Right. Yeah, that, I feel bad when you shit. say you regret you know? that shit, you know? <laughs> yeah, I regret it. I don't regret the shit that me and you did. I don't regret shit that me and Knight did. I don't regret shit that me and Extremities did even because at least I got, like, you know, we were cool at the time. You made I just music. regret. Made at the end of the day, yeah. you made good music. That's all I'm saying. Like, I just regret um, whoring myself out to all these people and they acted like uh, I should just be thankful because uh, I'm getting my name out there and shit and I'm done with it. It's like, I make money yeah, I doing say, art you, now you, it's every like, day. You, it's not like you don't get work. You don't need the extra no. fucking boost from. Like the truth is, is that like with tattoo and I, I genuinely, I uh, own a house. I support four kids and a wife. I do all that just off of my art. Like, you know, I'm just literally that shit makes me laugh. Like I'm like, oh, oh, really? Can I do that for? You? Can I do that for you? Like, yeah, I would love to fucking work for you for free just so you can put a verse on a fucking thing and nobody listens to it. Like, I don't give a fuck about that shit. That's it's that's literally that's ridiculous. That's how I felt with this fucking shit hit me with, because it's like, oh, it's a beat on and this guy's on the project and that guy, and it's like, I don't care about none of these dudes. Well, that's what I'm saying. It don't matter to me. So it's like you're basically asking me to do free work, and it's and then it's like, no, you're dope. And I'm like, yeah, I know I'm dope. Like that's not, that's not the fucking problem. Like, that's not like the question. Like, how much work but are you the... supposed to do, like for nothing? And and like people ain't even right. really listening. And it's just like, what the? F it's, you feel like you're pissing in the wind at some point. Yeah. So like that's the way I feel. Like with me and you, I'm like, I'll send you a bunch of beats, and I don't give a fuck which ones you fuck with. That's what I'm saying. Like, the ones that you are feeling that I send you and you send back verses, I'm like, okay, those are the dope ones that Phil wants to fuck with. So I'm like, okay, I'll fuck with those ones too. And it's not like I'm uh, trying to make like a, a fucking thing where I'm trying to blow smoke up your ass and be like, yo, fucking this and that. I'm not doing that. I'm like, me and you, our homies, we're making shit and we both like it and that's it. And that's we'll put it out. If nobody it. likes it, I don't give a fuck. We're like, I, I got nothing to offer you, homie. We're trying to make dope records, like, but we're, we're just having fucking fun at the end of the day. That's right, man. I just like hanging out with you. I like making beats with you. I like fucking spitting on shit with you. I'm not really concerned with, like, all this fucking who's cool and who's not bullshit. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not that guy anymore, man, because it don't it's matter like, to me. Like, I, uh, like, I already know that hip-hop ain't going to pay me nothing, so I'm not... I don't got nothing to win like, on bro, this shit. Like, numbers wise, he blows Greasy out the box. I I I'd rather collaborate with Greasy in a heartbeat over fucking uh, just because I think Greasy is way fucking doper. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't give. Yeah, a me fuck. too. After listening to Greasy's the two albums you sent me, I'm like that. Like he actually really likes to spit. Yeah. Like he's just like I'm just I'm just making shit. You know? Nah, you're. Fucking you can dope. tell. Crazy. You can tell. Yeah, you can tell that he's just is like I'm just like making dope shit, 
trying to make shit that makes him happy, you know? Yeah, you can tell he's having fun, and I, he's always saying shit like, like, your music makes me miserable. Like, it just it makes me Yeah, laugh. man. Yeah, man, he's having fun, man. He's just like, fuck it, he gets it. Dude, we, 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 we should do a song. Next time he's in chat and he's fucking talking about this shit again, I'm going to get his fucking email and make this shit happen. Because if I get on a joint with yeah, him, yeah. I'm going to yeah, I yeah, see. I just rolled. I'm in. Man. Like no time flat. These fucking dumb motherfuckers. Like I'm saying, man. Somebody like uh, is like actually trying to be like somebody like Nas, right? So if they offered him the opportunity to be like famous, he would take it. Never impressed me. And yo, back in the Reverb Nation days. Before he was like popping, he left a comment on one of my shits, man. Uh, like, yo, this is fire. Before he was anyone, yeah, I man. checked him out and I was like, I wasn't impressed. And now, and now, you know, ten years later, this motherfucker's oh, I'm big shit. It's like, all right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like everybody gonna kiss his dick and shit because he puts together what he puts together. But it's not really impressive to me because I already seen everything from the mid '80s till now. And I already seen the best shit. I already seen the most impressive. I already seen it's not really impressive to me that at said, this though, point. I'm fucking sick of it. I agree. You know? But that said, I still appreciate the validation from like real hip hop heads like that that are like, yo, yeah, this shit's fire. You know what I'm saying? Because I do always wonder like what, what yep. the realist motherfuckers would think if they hit it, my shit, you know? And usually they, they well, hit it, so. I do understand that too, because that's the only thing that matters to me. That's what was so dope. Is when somebody, that was you know, so dope about FTSR, because I, I, I knew of C Reality and respected him, and you know what I'm saying. And they always fucking played uh, Underground Railroad, all them motherfuckers, halftime show, C Reality. You know, they always played like really dope shit. So, and I, that, that was all I wanted was to be like accepted by Stretch and Bobito and those kind of shows. And then boom, I met fucking Lord Sierra at fucking FTSR. That shit was crazy. Yeah, I'm I'm hyped that Cut Supreme is doing that show. I think he did it today in Jersey. Lord Sia was one of the DJs. Fucking uh, Cellar Dwellers was there. Fucking Street Smarts. Like, a lot of motherfuckers I fuck with. I'm like, yo, to see Cut Supreme's name on there with them, that, I like that, man. Fuck yeah. Well, you know, Cuts, Cuts is probably pretty used to that, though. I was going to say, he. if I was him, I'd be playing them drops every fucking set. Like, I would play drops with you and Kaheem, like, as often as I could, just because I thought they were awesome. If I was Cuts, though, he's got fucking drops from everybody. Every fucking body. You know what I'm saying? From Guru yeah. to Cool Keith to Keith Murray to fucking you fucking name it. I think he even has a Sean Price one that he fucking lost. Like, That's what I'm saying, man. He, like, he's, he's right in the thick of it, and... You know, that's why I think it's super cool that he plays our shit. Because I'm like, ah, hey, you know what's good. You know what's, you've been around, like, in actual hip-hop culture your entire life and been doing this. Like, that dude's made hip-hop his entire life. So I even sent him an email the other day and just said, like, you know, I understand that I don't, you know what I mean? I don't fit into, like, what hip-hop is, but I really appreciate that you play my music on here. He it's fucking it cool. Like that, bro. Trust me. He, he, he has you up there. With any of these dudes, for real. Me too. Right? Yeah, but for me, it's not. It's different. Like you know, it's, I, know I don't I see my like, I don't see myself that way. I, I feel the same way, but other, some other people don't. You know what I mean? And then I look at some how corny these some some of these motherfuckers are. It's like, you know, what I'm saying, who are we comparing ourselves to? You know what I mean? It depends. Yeah. Like, well, and you even day, see guys like. Back in the day, only certain. I was watching this video from Prodigy where he was just saying this shit. Like, only certain motherfuckers could hold a mic. Just like, you know what I'm saying? On some street shit. This shit ain't for everybody. Shut the fuck up. Stop thinking you could yeah. fucking. You and your mother could fucking rap, bro. This shit ain't for everybody. Word. Like, there's. But, you know what I'm saying? Now, nowadays, it's for everybody. So, in that light, like, we are definitely. Uh, you know, a bit upper level compared to most mother. But, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. We clown on motherfuckers, like, from different countries and shit like that. And then you see somebody like that homie Vigi, Vigilante there. You hear his beats, man. Like, those are, like, that dude, he knows what he's doing, man. Yeah, it's hard for me to fuck with anybody now at this point because I'm just so over it. You know what I mean? Like, homies would be like, oh, you're from Canada. And they think I'm, like, a 20-year-old, like, dude who raps or some shit. 
I yeah, but I'm four, I'm forty fucking four years old, man. Don't you hate like I've been doing, hate? I've been doing hip hop my whole life. Don't like I, hate. like you know, you know because you fuck with me. But it's like, like I make beats, fucking scratch, rap. Like I do graffiti. I, like I've been doing this shit since I was like a baby. You know what I mean? And like dudes are like, yo, get on this track, and they send me some shit, and I'm like, I don't want to fuck with that. Not at all. I don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, that you shit's know how many fucking times people are like, yo, whack. I have the perfect shit for you, and I'm like, this is like not yeah. me at all, bro. No, no, I they're like, I got it. Just write to it. It's like, what's in it for me? Like, you want me to fucking yeah. bust my ass to force some bullshit on this shit? Like, to do some weird style that that you like? Fuck out of here. Like, leave me alone, man. But don't you miss that? Like, I wish I still felt like that. Like, there was a time when I was like. Oh, people want to fuck with me. I appreciate that. So I'm going to fucking rip this shit apart. You know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't matter who they were. It's like, if you were interested in my shit, I appreciated it. Like, I lost, I don't care no fucking more, but I hate that. I hate nah, something like that. No, no, no. Now I'm like, yo, I got this I got this dope beat I made the other day and Phil's on it, and I just want to spit on that. I ain't got time to write another rap for your busted ass shit. Bro, Even bro, if the bro. beat's fire, I'm like, I don't give a fuck about that shit. I, I, I'm done. I'm seriously done.